G'day Carbonites, welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved on the Ragnarok server. So I did a lot of building uh, with you guys, well, without you guys yesterday. And um, let's, um, let's go have a look at what I did. So I've got all the windows hooked up to the pin code, which is good. Except they fucking, they open inwards. Really fucking bothers me. Not 100% sure why they do that. Anyway. It's actually quite dark in here. I might, um... Keep that, this going for a little bit. Alright, so here's the new crafting area. So I did, um... A neat little roof uh, feature. We've got these little, uh... Uh, I don't know what they're called. Some sort of wall cavity. Or we can place some cool stuff. We've got the fabricator hidden inside here. It looks like there's a wall missing from there. Yeah, let's, uh, let's fix that up. There we go. So yeah, it's just a little box. I thought it was pretty cool. Yeah, and then that way, like, everything's fairly close. Alright, let's, uh, head on up. This is really cool. I really like this tower. How it turned out. It was really nice. And then, this is going to be the bedroom. So, I'm going to have the, uh, the bed up here and the, uh, gravestone. Um, the whole reason I made this is because I didn't like the fact that I couldn't see out uh, into our yard from up here. So I would have to like come over to here to be able to see. So this way we get a really good view of everything up here. So yeah, I thought that was, that was pretty cool. I'll um... I'll do a little bit of cheating just so you can, um, I mean, it's, it's for, it's for the, the benefit of the viewers. So we can actually see what, a, what the base looks like, uh, from a distance now. So it's got a, a fairly unique shape to it. I mean, it's, it's nothing, um, it's nothing amazing, but... You've got to remember, this is our first base, our first of many base bases on this server. So I didn't want it to be like the the absolute best, it, you know, in the server, because otherwise we won't we won't want to leave it. It'll be like remastered all over again. We'll get into um, get into the stone tier, and then we're just stuck there because we don't want to leave the base. Um, so this is this is cool. Like I'm I'm happy with it. But I'm pretty sure we can do better. And I think that's uh, what we should be doing. Should be always aiming to improve upon ourselves. So how are these doing? They're, they're doing good. And water should be good. Yep. Um, Myth came over the other day. And um, yeah, even he was going... You, you know you could have just done plumbing from the... From the uh, well, and I'm like, yes, yes, I know. I I wanted to do it this way. I just I I think it's cool, and it's not like we're gonna run out of water. There's there's heaps there to last us. All right, so yeah, I'm not 100 percent sure why they open inwards. It's very frustrating, to the point where I don't even want to use the uh, the keypad to. To open them. See, with the EA ones, uh, I'm pretty sure you can choose which way they open and close. So I might, um, might actually switch them all over to EA ones, which is a huge pain in the dick, but it'd be worth it because it's there's no option in here to change which direction they open, is there? Now we've just got automatic. Yeah, that's all we got. Looks 
looks really good at nighttime too. So I readjusted all the wall torches. Uh, and spread them out a little bit more. Got rid of a few that I, I thought were overkill. Uh, basically, I think what was happening is we were saturating the area with too much light. Because down the bottom here, we I think we had like six... Um, six wall torches. So now I've got one on either side of this room here. And then we just got one here. So there's three down the bottom here. We've halved it. And yeah, it's a lot nicer now. Doesn't, um, doesn't, uh, oversaturate the area. I might even readjust these two. Just put one in the middle or something. But yeah, I've, I've got a, a couple on, on this side here. So yeah, pretty good. I wonder if you can set these up with a pin code. Because that would be pretty cool. Because you could have that on the keypad as well. And just turn on the lot all the lights on. Anyway. Uh, so it looks like we've got a family of fucking Brontos moved in. What are we going to do today? How's our um, egg collecting going? We getting Dilo eggs? We got two Dilo eggs. Seven Dodos. Two Parasaur eggs. <laughs> Nine Raptor eggs. Awesome. And we're chockers because we've got all the uh, building supplies on us still. Um, we should probably get into the refrigerator now because I really, I really don't like this. I think we've we've used it enough. You know, like we've we've suffered enough. Let's um, oops, that's my phone. Jesus Christ. I always forget to put it on silent uh, when I start recording. Alright, so let's have a look in here. This is actually powered from the generator downstairs, which is great. Don't need to um, do any wiring or anything like that. And um, eventually I will get into the internal wiring. I just, when I first start off, I'm normally fairly low on silica pearls. So I don't like spending them. To, to make these. Uh, but yeah, we will definitely do that. We'll definitely get into them because I really like how they're... Um, it's so easy just to make a, a giant grid of electricity um, without having to worry about the cables and all that sort of shit. Uh, what were we in here for? Refrigerator. So S plus one. Um, what do we got? We could probably make that, um, I think one will be enough, um, but I'll, I do want to create a few more preserving bins, uh, purely for jerky making. Now that we've got a, um, a shit ton of, oh, this is going to be tricky, uh, a shit ton of, um, oil, we can start really getting into the, uh, the jerky and actually start making some, uh, kibble. Uh, that's a saddle I picked up from a blue pr um, a um, a drop. It's actually it's decent for a mastercraft. Ninety one armor. It'd be uh, pretty good. Um, what else have I got in here? Oh, I think I got a yeah, I got a um, megatherium saddle as well. Somewhere. Maybe it's in the actual smithy. It might be. I think it's really expensive to make, though. There it is. 90, uh, 94 armor. Yeah, 2,400 cementing paste. We're not in that sort of position with cementing paste just yet. Although, how much... Um, how much chitin have we got? We've got 10,000. We could, we could definitely do that. And we've got a shit ton of stone. I'm sure we do. Yeah, 17,000. So we could just, we'll just queue up a bunch. Um, let's queue up 
500, I guess. 500. There we go. Alright, there we go. That's that's done. Let's queue up this one as well. Do 500. Alright, and we'll just let that go. Uh, let's get rid of this, uh, all these building supplies that we have on us, because they're weighing us down. Yeah, I think um, I, I will eventually swap everything over to um, to EA Double Doors, just purely for the fact that we can specify that we want them to go out only, and that way they'll open that way every time. And, okay, so we're going to have to pick this guy up and just place it down here temporarily. Grab our transfer tool, transfer gun, I should say, put everything in there and then grab our fridge. It's probably not going to get electricity from here. That looks so good. I'm absolutely in love with this type of thing. That's so good. Alright, let's grab our transfer tool back and set that as the source. Transfer everything in. It is powered. The fucking, the extension range on this thing is unreal. Because that's where the thing is. I hope uh, Orion Sun makes an NS Plus version of uh, the keypad. Purely so... It, um, it gets rid of that wire. Because I always have trouble with the trying to hide the wires from vanilla structures. Okay, so we want to grab um, some cooked meat and some cooked prime meat. And oh, I think the, um, the thing's already in there. Yeah, it is. The uh, spark powder. So where are we going to set up these bad boys? Because I want a few of them. Oh, shit. I didn't realize that was going to poke through like that. Oh, is that going through the other side as well? Oh, good. Okay. So it's just on that side. We can hide that. That'll be fine. So let's get rid of this table. I don't think we're going to need it anymore. Yeah, fuck it. Let's get rid of it. And, um... Possibly get rid of that window as well. I think we just extend this kitchen area out a little bit. So let's grab the demo tool. And get rid of that. Get rid of the railings. Yeah. All right. I'm going to grab some building supplies. I'm absolutely loving this series so far. This is so much fun. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. Um, last night after I logged off, uh, I was chatting to the guys we've got on the server about possibly um, increasing the difficulty. And um, there, there was a, a little bit of um, hesitation um, just because of like how difficult it already is. Uh, but eventually they, they caved and they said, yeah, all right, fine. <laughs> so what we've done is we've increased the wild level of, uh, of dinos to 1500. So that's a times 50, uh, difficulty. And you might be thinking, well, that's fine. What dinos can you tame now? And it's the same. So the max level that we can tame is 300. The max wild level is 1500. It's awesome. Uh, the reason for the change is uh, yesterday when I was out with Myth, I I felt too powerful for, for what we had. All we had was, like, I had uh, some bread raptors. Like, sure, they're, they're bread. And we've, we've done some stat merging. But the health and the damage on these guys are still really low stats. They're only 62s. Um, so I wasn't, I don't know, and I only had a, a journeyman saddle on them, and I just, I felt like we could take out a little bit too much, 
for what we, uh, you know, for, for, for what we had. So I want to make it a little bit more difficult. Um, just to, I don't know, because I, I feel like we, we should have lost a couple of battles that we got into. And this way it will, um, it will increase the need to breed, um, high level damage dealing dinos. So we will need to focus on stats. They will need to be super inbred. Uh, to, to be able to basically, um, you know, survive. And on top of that, with, uh, with the difficulty that we've got set on the server, you can, um, you can get saddles that are just crazy powerful. Crazy powerful. Um, what, what are we, what are we doing here? Maybe we should just do it like this. Because if we do it like that, we can sit four in there quite easily. Yeah, I think that's, that's the way we're going to do it. So, um, Veldrum and, uh, and Levi were the first ones on the server, uh, after the change. And, uh, in Discord, Veldrum posts a picture of, uh, level 1500 aloe. That's living in his fucking, um, in his valley, basically. It was just crazy. I think the, the thing had like 30,000 health. Absolutely awesome. Um, tell you what, before we do this. Let's, um, let's grab another one of those. trying to think of how I can, um, how I can do this. I just want to measure it basically. To make sure that these are going to be roughly in the center of the area that we have. Let's do that. Oh, I see. What if we lay down? Oh, God damn it. Um... Wow, I have no idea where the fuck that is. All right, seems to be working now. I think that looks in in the center. Bring it up to those that 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 wall there. That looks pretty good. Do another one. Don't be shit. Beautiful. All right, so now we just got to copy that, basically. Actually, before we do that, let's grab this one. So then that way we can put both of them down together.
That looks good. Alright. Let's grab that. We will have to make some more. And we'll pick up that. We don't really need that there. That looks nice. Alright. Let's grab some spark powder. These guys finished. They are. Beautiful. Okay, let's grab some oil and we'll get some uh, jerky being made. So I um, I went down to the beach. I d I'm not 100% sure if I showed you or not, uh, but I went down to the beach because uh, I remembered that there was some um, oil nodes in the water there. So I went, in, I went down there and... Uh, I took the uh, Megatherium, which actually proved to be a really useful water mount <laughs> because of those water scorpions. Um, this guy was getting a buff for killing them, and then he was doing amazing damage. So it was really helping me with the Megalodons because they were they were really tanky, and uh, and they were doing quite a bit of damage. So it was good to have that guy. Um, he did get really low towards the end. He got down to 3,000 health. Uh, and yeah, he's 11,600. 11, so you can see how um, how dangerous that was. Uh, but yeah, picked up a, a bunch of oil. And um, I also got some silica pearls as well. So we're, um, we're in a pretty good position, really. It's just... Oop, I tried to put metal in there. Let's just throw the poop in there. Get that going again. Should be, um... Should be getting quite a few Dilo eggs. We've got the egg laying uh, on double speed. So, I think... I think they have a chance of laying an egg every six minutes. Because I think it takes 11 minutes, um, 11 minutes by default. So yeah, five and a half minutes. So how are we looking here? Everything's got good spoil timer now. That's eight days. Fuck yeah. Alright, looking good. So we could, um, we could definitely cook up some more meat. Yeah, sorry guys, it's just um, a lot of, um, I guess, maintenance today. We're not really, haven't really done much. Uh, but I think that, you know, Ark is, Ark is about that. You log in, you you got chores to do, you got to check things. I, I like that about it. That's not going to be enough wood. Um, let's grab another 300 on top of that. There we go. Get those going. Beautiful. Oh, and we got spoiled meat as well. That egg. Gotta get that um, storage cabinet up there. Let's throw the egg in there. Um, yeah, so I just updated this mod um, to allow bigger, um, well, you can change how many slots it has. And um, there's also an INI &I setting to stop people from uh, putting items into it and using it as a storage device. Because um, it it's a very overpowered uh, vault, basically, because it's available at level 5 and it's really cheap to make. So, um, if other people think that it's too overpowered, they can, um, they can turn that setting on and stop people from using it as a storage device, which I think is, um, yeah, it's really good. 
Oh, but uh, I do need to pick it up and replace it for that setting. So as you can see there, it's only uh, 300 slots. I'm pretty sure I changed the settings on this. So if we pick it up and place it in here somewhere. Um, that's, that's a decent spot. Yeah, but definitely better than there. Yeah, I think there, and that way we can access it from this side. Ah, uh, yeah, so now you can see it's 500 slots. Let's run down here and we'll just transfer everything. Yeah, so I didn't enable that on, on this server. Uh, honestly, because I, I like cheating. <laughs> I like being able to just store everything in this, uh, in this one vault. Uh, but yeah. So we can have a look at the uh, admin menu, and uh, yeah, it comes up with the um, arc income. So we can see what the uh, income is. I'm getting zero. Belgium's on. Uh, he, he's he's getting uh, eighteen, and uh, yeah, he's got twenty two at the moment. So yeah, it's pretty cool. And um, yeah, so when when someone opens their their page. It tells you um, your monthly income. Uh, it tells you if there's a bonus on the server. So on our server, we have a bonus of one arc for every two hours played. And then it tells you how much you've earned. So that includes the, um, the monthly income. And it includes the bonus. And, um, and then it also tells you how long you've played on the server. So yeah, I thought that was uh, it's pretty cool. Anyway, enough uh, self-promotion. We got another level up. Where are we going to put it? Ah, uh, Fortitude, that's right. We got the... Oh, the Industrial Grinder. Now, that would be uh, pretty good to get into, really. Let's have a look at um, what it costs to make one of those. I'm pretty sure it's really, really expensive, which is, is good. Because we've advanced uh, pretty far. Yeah, yeah, we're definitely not in any position for that. 2,000 crystals is the only problem. Uh, the metal I could do. I, I could do a few runs. We could get that. Um, I'm pretty sure we've got the polymer and the oil. And the cementing paste. So yeah, it'd just be the, the crystal. Let's check these. They should be done. A couple of level ups, which we're going to put straight into damage, I think. Yeah, decent damage on this guy. I think uh, Myth was saying he has an even higher stat. Because um, what's this guy? If I check my uh, breeding app, uh, Dodecurus Spastic, there we go. Um, 75. 75 points into damage. See how much uh, stone he's getting from one hit. Holy shit, 1400? This guy's insane. Imagine what Myths is doing. <laughs> and with the um the overpowered bloody stack mod that we got on. It's, um, yeah, it hardly weighs anything. I wish someone would make a, a stacking mod that you could, uh, you could customize. Because I, I really feel like the, the weight thing that this one has is way too overpowered. You should not be able to, to carry that much stuff. I think some sort of weight reduction is good, but yeah, the, the, the one on this mod is, uh, yeah, it's overpowered. 
Um, the reason why we're using it is because it's the only one that's updated to you to be able to stack aberration uh, resources, which we're we're using on this server. Wow. Oh, we're only up to 18,000. Um, let's go a couple of points into weight. Yeah, 1,300. Are these ones harvestable? Yep. We're probably lagging the server at the moment as well. Um, servers really hate when dodies are harvesting like this. Um, you can tell because uh, whenever you swing and hit a rock, see how the uh, the the amount added on the left hand side of the screen, it uh, it goes up like um, you know one by one. So it it sort of um, it doesn't calculate exactly how much you're going to get straight away. It's sort of like it does it on a loop. And I think that's what lags it. Because it's doing a loop 1400 times. Alright, so we're on our way back. Um, what do we got? Like 50, 50,000, nearly 60,000? Oh shit, that was close. Beautiful. Love it. Alright, let's get some uh, cementing paste going. I wonder if we can pull a thousand. Yeah, there it is. Beautiful. Oh, jeez. I think we just used all the stone. Um, let's, let's have a look. Uh, didn't... Oh, we ran out of, uh, chitin. Okay, well, that's good. I mean, well, it's not good, but, yeah, it's better than running out of stone. Alright, cool. Got poo on me for some reason. Um... Let's move this stuff. Get this up the top here. Just like that. And, um... Yeah, I think we'll just we'll put this over here. Like that. All right. Awesome. Yeah, get rid of that poo. Oh, there's a red drop over there. I wonder if I'm a high enough level now. We should definitely go over there. Um, so I could... I could parachute over there and then just teleport back. I uh, can't really get out that way. Um, fuck. Alright. Yeah, we'll, we'll go down to the deck. Should give us plenty of room. Hopefully we make it there in time.
It should do. It's just the, uh, the benefit of having a base high in the air. Especially for this type of server where we don't have flyers and we have to rely on gliding as um, the fastest method. There we go. Come on. Heaps of time. Alright, I don't know what we got. Beautiful. Alright, let's have a look. What did we get? We got a saddle. Oh, that's not too bad. 111.9 armor for a Beasel Bufo saddle. It's a blueprint too. And, uh, looks fairly cheap. It's decent. Oh, we got another saddle. Caprasuchus. Okay. Yeah, not really that interested in that. And fucking, <laughs> I've got a bl blueprint for a keypad. But yeah, the, uh, the other saddles aren't bad. Alright, how, how are these going? Are these still... Oh, Jesus, they, um... They seem to go through the spark powder a lot while they're making jerky. Might have to top that up before I uh, go offline. It's going, uh, going decently well. I might just clean out what we've got in here. Actually, a better way to do it would be to just pull it. Um... Yeah, there we go. Cooked meat jerky. Actually, you can click all and just do that. And then uh, cooked... Uh, where is it? Prime prime meat jerky. There it is. All. So we're up to 51 and 57. Not bad at all. Alright, I think uh, that's going to do it for the episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Even though we, we didn't really do much... But, uh, yeah, some, sometimes you, you know, don't really get much done and you, you fail at what you try to do. So I will, uh, I will see you guys in the next episode. As always, shit, facing the wrong way. As always, don't forget to leave your targets and I will see you next time.